What's good? This is Marcus DeFingers back with audio plugin deals and another great deal for you. Before we get into that, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, ding that bell notification so you get notified of incredible great deals just like the one we're going to talk about today. What are we going to talk about today? We're going to talk about the Babylon and expansions pack from WA Productions. I believe they used to be called What About? Don't quote me on that. I don't know if they're still called What About, but WA Productions, definitely check out their website. You see their uh, their link up here, WA Production. Um, the Babylon, actually, this deal, it is normally over $290. You can get it for $29.99. Let me confirm that's the right price. I believe that's the right price. Yep, $29.99. You can get it for $200. It's normally $293 and some change. You can get it for $29.99. That is an incredible deal for a bunch of sounds i'm going to show you what you get there is a little bit of install involved um, i won't go over the whole install process but i had to install it figure out where to put my presets and things to, to get it to load up and once you have all that figured out you can go to your preset list here i have them listed by the categories uh these are all the kits you get in there it's over 20 sounds uh 20 sound libraries 20 folders that you install and then within those you could have hundreds or dozens or however many sounds so it's a lot of sounds involved of course there's there is no way i can play through all these sounds i'm going to play through a little bit of each one though um so once you have that you see the interface here what i really like is i believe i haven't really gone into this but you can go in i want to say it is ui settings and you can change the skin so let's say you want the dc night skin which i like uh what i like is that you can go in here you can change the skins as you can see this is the default one uh let me go through some of those you can go to uh the that's the tab skin you can go to this default here i don't know if i noticed a crazy change there or we can go to dc night which i actually like that one and the, the last one i haven't actually gone through all these uh dg or let's say dg not D dc the the one thing i don't like is the text is kind of small um maybe i can make that a little bigger there we go um so that is actually very helpful um so normally what you would see is something down here where you can resize plugins that is not in this plugin um that is actually you go to menu ui size 100 i'm going to leave it at that size so that i can see that it says dg and not dc i actually like the dg night um look and then let's see uh this is actually not has nothing to do with the sounds and the settings in the plugin itself um you have different tab uh ui you can change there matrix modulators tuners and of course the size so let's get into the sounds let's get into the plugin actually you have three oscillators you have a noise uh knob there you have filters you have reverbs all built in i really just like to dive in and go through the presets you're getting a bunch of presets here so what do we have in the plugin you have your menu at the top which we've already gone through you have some presets which we will go through you have the poly polyphony you can raise that all the way from 1 to 16 so you could have it mono or all the way to 16. you could have the mode poly legato legato porta porta poly porta a lot of porta p words transpose you can go up or down up to an, uh, 12 semitones uh then you have this which looks like a panic button which might reset all the things this will take you to the website the wa production website there i believe then you have three oscillators here all with uh, octave semi fine pitch phase pan volume voices detune controls you can go unison sync all spread mix you have fm am rm on all of those three oscillators there actually the third oscillator you have a little bit less controls you don't have the unison option there then you have a noise control with width pan volume then you have adsr attack decay sustain release if you don't know what those mean um definitely look those up with your envelope filter here then you also have an additional filter down here with another adsr you have the um, cutoff resonance key effect all kind all types of things there you have reverb built in you can also go to delay eq chorus filter lo-fi distortion uh glide options so many options in here what I like to do is I like to just go in, find some presets. And when I say we have a lot of presets, we have a lot of presets. Again, we're not going to go through all these. We're just going to play through some of them. Uh, first, let me play the default sound that you get. Almost sine wavy. I think that's just the oscillator there. So um, we're going to go through these presets because you have, like I said, over 20 kits, hundreds of sounds. We're going to play a couple of each. So this is in the base for Babylon kit. I'm going to play fine. And you see the keyboard at the bottom. I really like this uh, the skin. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Uh, let's go to, I'll play a couple more in there. Progressive. Let's hold it down. And you can look at the oscillators to see how the sounds are built. Let's play one more in this guy. We'll go to, there's some drums in there. Um, there's some kick drums, it looks like. That's that. We're going to go to Bass House for Babylon. Let's play Slap. Some, yeah, just some crazy sounds in there. 
Uh, I love it. Lead, this is the lead sound. Next we have, we'll go to PL Big, which probably stands for Pluck. So you can really take these sounds and start building a great, great sound out of it. Let's go to Complextro for Babylon. We have BA, Bass, LD. If I try to assume BA is probably Bass, LD is Lead, PL is Pluck. Um, we've seen some drum sounds, so we're going to go to Lead. Again, you can take just one of those sounds and start making melodies and stuff out of it. Um, I'm going to spend all day in these. Let's go to another pluck sound in here, and then we'll go to the next kit. Uh, this is actually pad. PD is pad. Someone could probably sample that like crazy. Uh, cyberpunk for Babylon. And again, I do more like R&B, pop, hip hop, and then of course some orchestral stuff. So I can actually use some of these sounds in some of those and I don't have to necessarily use them in like cyberpunk or bass house. You can apply it to whatever music you're making. Let's go to bass here. Again, great sounds. Um, we'll go to uh, lead. Uh, some built-in legato things happening there with the bend and everything and then finally we'll play a pluck in here game on really nice game sound i like that sound um there are so many sounds in here then we have babylon cyberpunk for babylon uh the second version we'll play a bass in here Yeah, there's so many sounds in here. I, 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 you can come up with an idea for literally almost any of these sounds. Let's go to pad. And one more in this, uh, we'll go to pluck. Um, I'm just doing everything in A minor, just that's the key I'm in today. Then we have drum and bass. We'll play bass talk box. <laughs> Uh, yeah, like that. Let's go to lead uh, main. Does that say main? Yeah. And then pluck. Yeah. Um, and again, I'm not even going through uh, a small fraction of these sounds. It's crazy. Uh, let me go to chord choir. <laughs> That's incredible. This is EDM, the EDM for Babylon kit. Then we'll go to Angry Square. Then we'll go to Festival House for Babylon 2. Let's go to play, uh, or Volume 2, this is Volume 2, Energy Bass. And again, these sounds will probably be more tuned for the festival type uh, house music, but you can also use them. We have effects. Let's go to sweep down. A really great noise uh, downer there. Uh, we'll go to a pad. Again, great sounds. And we also have future house. We have F hex P1. Um, a future house and then we'll play bass or drums we have pads and plucks uh, i'm trying to see if i see we have leads of course let's go to drums hybrid snare so you can build like a, a whole beat out of this <laughs> this kit we have cording i 
I like that. Uh, let's go to Future Rave. I, I'm not even halfway through these kits, and we, I want to go through a little bit of each one. Bass. You can hear that there. We're going to go to uh, this lead tracer. You can build some like uh, interesting like 80s style cues with this. Like if you're trying to do like a new version of like Stranger Things, um, then we'll play like Pluck Wind or Pluck. What did I do? Winds. Yep. Yeah, that's crazy. Hard style for Babylon. This is, we have some effects in here. For KY, that might be keys. We'll find out. Extraordinary. Yep, so like some uh, electric piano type, uh, DX7 type keys. We'll do a hard lead. So the, the actual um, description of them actually helps to define what they are. We have a hard pad. And again, you can also go in there and change the settings. I'm just going through the presets. Uh, we'll play uh, 808s. You know, I love 808s. Looks like you have, at least in that one kit, you already have nine 808s. Um, we'll play some keys. Some keys. I like that. <laughs> Sound. All right, let's go to the next one. Melodic House, uh, Plucky Bass. Uh, sounds just like a Plucky Bass. Um, let's go to Lead Chord. Um, too many sounds. Progressive Deep. We'll play this bass main style. Um, yeah, that's dope. Um, then we have, we'll go to Ponte. That pluck point. Then we have side trance. That was, uh, that was progressive deep. We have side trance. We'll play this lead. I really like that. Almost like if you want to replace uh, like a guitar, but you want to have a guitar mixed with a synth. I like that sound. Um, what I would like, there is a bunch of sounds in here. Um, I don't know if there's a way to choose favorites. I would like that option if possible, because I might, you know, at some point go through... Uh, some of these sounds are, if I'm looking for sounds to go through, um, I would like to have a favorite options. Um, I'll discuss more about what I might like to see in additional and maybe an update in the plugin. Super light, here we go. Again, that's a great pluck. Um, then we have slap house. We're gonna go to the space slap. Again, if you're trying to work on the next Bruno Mars, you know, funk type track, um, this would be great for that. We have cello pad. Very nice emotional. So if you want like a type of strings, but not strings. Cinematic, you know, I'm into my cinematic stuff. Again, some great stuff there. Then we're gonna go to one more in here. We'll go to Sparkle. So if you're looking for those plug sounds, um, I'm going to actually go to this library for those plug sounds. Really great, especially if you're trying to do like some of those Afrobeat type beats. Uh, bass, darkness. You have that glide. Let's say if I want to turn that down. So it jumps right to the next note. Um, so you can edit them. And as you edit them, you see that the star up there indicates that it's edited. Um, we'll put ping pong pluck. Also great for pop music. Again, I, I really don't go too much into the settings themselves. I might take some effects out or something like that, but I go for the presets. I find a great preset and I use it. Uh, let's go to effects war ambience. It's 
it's a little there's a long attack as you look at your adsr here um the attack is at 6327 if we take it all the way back it comes in way sooner so um you can check your attack on all these presets here all these uh, settings and then if i take it down to the filter it comes in right away um actually the filter is actually off so you can go through your settings and change the attack if they're like if taking too long to come in you can edit them that way um so i might edit the adsr maybe some effects sub pad we'll play one of those <laughs> And that's one, um, as you can see up here, that's only one note playing at a time. Um, probably good for the low notes, probably why it's called subpad. Then we have trance. We'll play this pad paradise. I really like these pad sounds. If you want, you can take out the release and it'll cut right away as soon as you let go of the note. So again, you can edit those settings. If you know, especially if you know what they do, that helps. Um, super glass pluck. Um, sounds like a glass to me. Uh, we're almost done. Um, ooh, look at this trap for Babylon. We have so much. Uh, we have even more 808s. 20 more 808s in here. I got to play some of those. It's a nice subtle 808 there. Let's go to seven. And again, you can process these if you want to add more distortion and things to it. Let's go to bass. Yeah, and crazy. Uh, lead. Um, technically, you probably should be doing solo stuff. I'm playing chords there. Pad. You can also use this for scoring. Like I said, film, soundtrack type things. It sounds like great. I'll play a pluck in here. almost done i'm gonna get through this last library uplifting trance uh, let's play this bass frame um <laughs> some of that probably doesn't make sense i'm just playing random stuff we have this lead uh basics Like that sound uh we'll go to time lead yeah that's crazy also and then we'll play this plux punch here um it's just a, some crazy sounds there. And we'll play one more, Wanted. Like I said, so many sounds. So let me tell you what I wish. Uh, I do like that you can adjust the size here uh, in the UI settings, but I do wish that was an option where I could just do it here because I'm used to seeing that on other plugins. I know they're doing things way differently from other plugins, but I the resize I would like to keep. I also would like to have a favorite options because like I said, you're getting a lot, um, hundreds if not, you know, at least <laughs> at least a couple hundred, if not close to a thousand presets. I haven't added out how many, but there's a lot. Even in this one alone, you see there's all these presets here. Um, so I would like the option to add favorites. So let's say I like this, and then maybe I could have a category down here where I could have a favorites, or maybe you can create your own. You can drag them. Um, there's a way where the uh, presets are stored that maybe you can add your own favorite library, your favorites folder, and maybe put it at the top uh, with like a, a star next to it or something so that it shows up at the top and then drag your favorites over to there. Um, so there are some options you can do it, but I, I wish it was built into the, uh, the plugin. What I really like is the, re the the skin options. You can have the different skins. I like this one. Um, let me look, let me see if I remember what the circuit board looks like. Um, now, I actually like the, the DG Knight um, one. This is what the default, again, looks like. Uh, really looks kind of dated there. Um, I wouldn't mind if there were more skin options. Maybe you can download more skins. I haven't looked into that on online or something. But for the ones that are included, I actually like the DG Knight. And then I don't know if I looked at any of the other options down at the bottom. But um, yeah, so you have different options there for size, skin, and the default tabs and things. Um, I really like the presets. That's the, the true value here is all the presets you get, again, 
under $30, you're getting hundreds and hundreds of sounds that you can actually create a cue with. You can create a whole track with. You have um, drums, you have bass, you have keys, you have leads, you have pads, you have effects, you have plucks, you have all this different stuff and more um, in all these different kits. Uh, if you want, you can just throw them all into one uh, long list. You don't have to keep them in these categories. I like to know the categories they're in. So if it's like, hey, I really want some sounds for trap, I can go down to you know the trap one and, and look at those sounds there. But again, these are interchangeable. You can use sounds if you want, if you're making a cinematic stuff, if you're doing trailer stuff, if you're doing uh, hip hop, R&B, house, festival, all that stuff, um, pop, you can use this in all those. And again, um, I don't necessarily make trance, but I could go in here and look at trance and then apply that to like my R&B track or whatever. So it's, it doesn't have to be the category of what it's, it's just gonna give you an idea of what those sounds would be ideal for. But again, if I want some techno techie sounds, I would go to trance or techno and look into, into those now. So very, very flexible. I'm just rambling on here because there's so much in here. Um, so shout out to Babylon, shout out to WA Production. This is an incredible, incredible deal. Normally $293 and some change. You can get it for under $30, $30. Definitely check it out. Also, again, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and ding that bell notification so you are notified of incredible deals in the future just like this. This has been DeFingas. Be safe and be well, everyone. All right, all right, peace.